guys, it's Angie. Today I tried to source at a brand new location and I wanted to tell you about it. It is a place that is popping up mostly I think in the southeast area, but maybe they have one in your area. The place is called Crazy Kaz Boys. And what this is, it's, I would guess I would explain it as probably mostly like an Amazon returns. Um, warehouse sale. It starts on Fridays at $7. Saturday, I think is five, $3, $2, $1, and then 25 cents on Wednesday. On Thursday, they're closed and they start all over again on Friday. So today is $1 day. So I decided to go ahead and stop in there and see what it was all about. Now I will tell you, they've only been open here for a little over a month here in Pensacola. And when you first went, it was crazy. Um, you had to wait, you had to basically get in virtual line, wait hours to get in the door because it was just jam packed every day. I think the novelty has worn off a little bit at this point because when I went in today for dollar day, you just walked right in the door, you didn't have to wait. What I and found what? was there was a whole lot of junk. <laughs> um, plenty of things that if you were just shopping for yourself, you could definitely, um, find things for yourself. There were a bunch of Easter decorations, a lot of food, but one thing that I really didn't care for with the food is almost every single thing I picked up from coffee to pretzels to this little biscuits and crackers, almost every single thing was expired. Now they do have a sign on the wall that says, it's most likely, you know, they can be out of date or close date, but that is actually more accurate to say that you're almost not gonna find anything that's in date. So, um, and maybe when on the $7 day, things are a little bit different, but what I found today, my experience was pretty much everything was expired. Okay, let's get right into what I picked up. The first thing I picked up was this rigid Ashback filter. Um, it is new in the box and it looks like they have pretty good resale and it's under a pound So it'll go first class Filters seem to be the name of the game <laughs> For me because I bought several so you'll see a theme the next thing I bought was this premium guard cabin air filter also new in the box it actually has an Amazon label on it you can see but it has some box image, so that's why I imagine it got pulled out of their inventory. The next thing I got was this Kenmore, also Amazon inventory tag. It is just these canister vacuum bags, six in a pack. This has never been opened, so I'm guessing that they just had overstock. The next item was this really beat up box, but it is also some filters four or five vacuum filter bags in here and so yeah the box is damaged but they are in there completely new and then i got this fram filter another amazon inventory so definitely amazon returns place this box is open but it's brand new inside and um can't sell it on amazon with an open box like this but you definitely can on ebay and then the next item I got was this Belkin subwoofer 25 foot audio cable and has some box damage, but still brand new. An oddball item was this Lionel train track. It's a four pack, still sealed, no signs of Amazon, but does, you know, the package is not perfect, but they are completely sealed in there. So that's pretty good. I did buy a few HBA items, including these cocoa butter, Palmer stretch mark creams. Um, insides, they're perfect, but the boxes have some damage. But I thought for $2, I'll go ahead and sell these together. And then I did buy two of this. It's Vanna cream, and I did see it selling for 15, 14 something. Um, they had probably 200 of these. 
and I just I have a feeling they're all gonna be there tomorrow at 25 cent day so I hate to spend more than two dollars on something when tomorrow for the same price I could have eight of them so this one was a great item it's a Wat Watson Whirlpool refrigerator filter I just was, was surprised that this was here because it is sealed you can see it's still sealed in the plastic and these I, mine my personal one cost $25, so I will see how much that goes for. I did buy five of these, Five Nights at Freddy keychains. I love Five Nights at Freddy's, it's a little Funko keychain. Then there is this item. It is a bottom elbow assembly, and I'm going to be real honest. I have no idea what it's for but I did look it up on eBay and it was on there I think for like 30 or 35 dollars and I'm like hey I don't need to know what it is to sell it it's new in the package so we went with that then here's like something I'm I'm sure no one knew what it was but I did right away these are Avery labels it is Senso labels 1100 series it has little damage on the packaging, but the labels are in perfect shape and they sell on eBay. The next thing I got, then the next item I picked up was this Bando belt for a Hyundai. Um, it's new, but here, as you can see, it has an Amazon label on it and Amazon warehouse deals inspected. Definitely is an Amazon return. Then the last two things I got, I definitely took a chance on them just because how much they cost new. This right here is a brother WT2200CL. So it is the ink and the tray for a new brother printer. Um, it is open bag, but it doesn't look like it's ever been used. The plastic cover is still on it so for a dollar it's worth it for me to give um, give it a try because the value of it is there and hopefully we won't have any problems with it if I do I'm, I mean I'll definitely guarantee it to make sure that it works and I'm only at a dollar and then the other thing was this one right here which is a TN 660 brother same situation it is opened but it still has the cover on it I opened it up it has not been used at all so I'm hoping that it's just a matter of they bought the wrong size and returned it so that's what I got now I will tell you that I spent $26 even though I only got $23 or 23 items I guess the girl at the counter miscounted so definitely make sure when, if you go to a Kaz Brothers, you check the number of items that you have. I didn't know until I got home and counted all my items and realized I paid for three items that I never got. So um, that's disappointing. So the Crazy Kaz Boys was a little crazy and definitely something that I want to try going on their $7 Friday when everything is... Um, brand new and they have all kinds of great items that are higher end. Um, Ollie's playing with the squeaky toy. <laughs> um, but it was a great experience. I got some items for resale. Hopefully I'll make some money and until next time I'm Angie. Thanks for stopping in. Have a great day.